Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to be covering another IXL assignment. This time we are doing a geometry topic. We have O15, find the measures of complementary, supplementary, vertical, and adjacent angles. Before we actually get into this, let's take a quick moment to review those different angle types and their definitions. All right, first off, adjacent angles. Adjacent is another word for side by side. So two angles are adjacent if they share a side. So in this case, they share the side BC and if they share a vertex, so point B. Therefore, this angle that's in blue, that's 22 degrees, A, B, C is adjacent, so next to angle C, B, D. All right, it's easy enough. All right, vertical angles. Vertical angles are located opposite of each other. In this example, angle A and angle B are opposite. They are vertical angles. Uh, I would also have another pair here. This top one, so if we wanted to call it C, would be vertical to this bottom one, D, because they are also opposite of each other. One important feature to remember about vertical angles is that they are congruent. Congruent is the geometry word for equal, which means angle A has the same measurement, is congruent to, angle B. So if angle A is 20 degrees, then angle B is also 20 degrees. They're equal. All right, another type is linear pair. Linear pairs happen when you have two adjacent angles, so two angles that are next to each other, that actually form a straight line. So angle one and angle two, when they're together, they form a straight line, which makes them a linear pair. Line is within the word linear, so that helps you remember the definition. Now, linear pairs actually are also supplementary. So you may hear it called either way. You may hear it called a linear pair or supplementary, but they're more or less one and the same. Supplementary angles, though, focus on the measurement. When two angles form a straight line, their sum is 180 degrees. So together, these two angles will be 180 degrees. All right, our last type is complementary. This time, if I have two angles that are adjacent and they form a right angle, that means they're complementary. They add up to 90 degrees. All right, quick review. Vertical angles are congruent, so they're equal to each other. Complementary angles add up to equal 90. And supplementary angles form a straight line and they add up to equal 180 degrees. All right, let's hop right back into our practice. First question, the measure of an angle is 77 degrees. What is the measure of its complementary angle? All right, I see here that it wants me to find the complementary angle. What did we just say complementary angles add up to equal? 90 degrees. So I know these two angles together will add up to equal 90. What is the information that I have been given? One angle is 77. One way you could think of it is to write a simple equation. So our unknown angle would be x and that plus 77 because the sum which means add of two angles equals 90 degrees. That's one way you could think of it. Or another way that you could think of it is instead of writing the equation, you could just do all the work either in your head or you can kind of skip that step since it is a simple one-step equation. And if the two of them together add up to equal 90 to find that missing piece, I need to subtract which is exactly what I would do in my equation. But you could just think of it as 90 degrees is the total, one angle is 77. Let's subtract those and see what my missing piece is. All right, if we subtract, we do need to borrow. That becomes an eight. 10 minus seven is three. Eight minus seven is one. So my missing 
angle, the complementary angle would be 13 degrees because together they add up to 90. All right, let's see if we got it right. And we did. All right, similar question. The measure of an angle is 102 degrees. What is the measure of its supplementary angle? Hmm. All right. This time it's not complementary, it's supplementary. So what do supplementary angles add up to again? Yeah, 180 degrees. One angle is 102, so what is that supplement? What is the one that together would make it a supplementary angle? Together would make it 180 degrees. All right, again, we're gonna subtract to find what we need. So 180, minus 102. And you might be able to do some of the subtraction in your head, just depends on whether you're good with mental math or whether you need to write it down. Either way, you can figure it out. 10 minus two is eight, seven minus zero is seven, one minus one is zero. So 78 degrees would be the supplement. All right, sweet. All right, this one, 87 degrees, the measure of its complementary angle. What does complementary angles add up to again? 90 degrees. And we know one of them is 87. This one you could probably do in your head. How much more do we need to get to 90? Yeah, only three. All right, here we go, this is what I was looking for. Some of the questions on this IXL assignment won't just be all words, sometimes they will have an image. So you need to look at this image and decide whether the angles are supplementary, so they add up to 180, complementary, they add up to 90, vertical, are congruent, so equal or adjacent, they're just next to each other. All right, we have 48 degrees for one angle and T for the other. What do you think they are? They are supplementary angles because together they form a straight line. So they're also adjacent, but the main one that's gonna help us figure the answer is noticing that they're adjacent angles that are supplementary. They form a straight line, therefore they add up to 180 degrees. So 180, minus 48. I'll give you guys a second to try that out. Be 132 degrees. And you could always double check your work by adding them back together and making sure, verifying that you really get 180. All right, um, another easy one, but there's not too many levels on here, so we'll do this one real quick and hope for one more picture. All right, the measure of an angle is 165 degrees. What is the measure of its supplementary angle? We're getting a lot of these. We're getting a lot of supplementary ones. Supplementary ones add up to 180. So 180 minus 165 would be 15. All right, let's jump a level since we're not getting any more pictures. All right, here we go. Man, we're on fire with supplementary today. So just a quick question, what is complementary? Since we're not getting any of those. Complementary is 90. And how about vertical? Congruent, so equal. All right, supplementary angle, and one of them is 101.1 degrees. All right, it's not really any different other than it's just having you practice subtraction with decimals. So 180 minus 101.1, what does that equal? 78.9 degrees. So do make sure you type that in properly with the decimal point. Very good. All right, 
sometimes the diagrams have lots of stuff going on. Notice that we are in the SMART score of the 80s, so we're starting to get into that challenge zone. It's given us some that are a little bit trickier. And it wants to know what the value of T is. Oh, I love this one because there's two different ways you could figure out the answer. All right, first, let's talk about what the relationship is between the angle we want to find and one of our known pieces of information. Because that's how these problems work, because it's like a puzzle. You need to see what is the relationship. Well, first, what's the relationship between T and 38? What kind of angles are they? Complementary? supplementary, vertical, or adjacent. These ones are vertical. Notice how they're opposite of each other. So vertical angles are congruent, which means T has to also be 38 degrees. But let's verify that, because it'll be good to get some extra practice. Let's say you didn't notice that 38, or maybe you have a hard time seeing the vertical angles. But what you noticed is that, ah, actually, we can't do it any other way. I almost got tricked because I was about ready to say, well, T and 116 are supplementary angles, but they're not. Let's clear some of this to see it a little bit better. That was there to trick us. Because right here is our straight line. So to get supplementary angles, I would need to know this one, T and 116. I would need all three of those to add up to 180. Mm. Sometimes there's extra information in there to try to throw you off. But thankfully, it's a vertical angle, so we don't have to get tricked. Maybe if I can type 38. All right, there we go. And we will make this our final one since we didn't have a ton with uh, diagrams. All right, what is the value of K? Hmm. Well, I notice that it's marking this right angle in two ways. It's marking it with the red square, and it's making sure that we verify and that we know that for sure because it's labeling it as 90 degrees. What does that mean 56 and K must be? Yeah, if they're on the other side, they are complementary angles. So 56 and K together are complementary angles. Together, they add up to 90 degrees. So what do we need to do to find that missing piece? Subtract 90 from 56, because these also would make a right angle. That gives us 34. Another way that you could do this, and this time I'm not being tricked, I do know there's another way, is you could look at all three of these angles and notice that all three of them together form a straight line. Therefore, the three together are a linear pair. The three together are supplementary angles, which means to, it would be 180, and you would subtract 90, and then you would subtract 56, and you would still get the answer of 34. So whichever way you see it, you can still come across the same answer, which is why I love these problems, is there's multiple ways to get a solution. All right, there we go. And we are all set. So I hope that this helped you guys out. As always, anything that you need, feel free to send me an email or come to my help sessions. I am more than happy to assist you. Bye, guys. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks for watching.